Gamers and Potterheads rejoice and get ready, because we've got some Hogwarts Legacy news for you. I'm Troy from Arcs on Games, and today we're going to be going over an article where we finally find out the game length for Hogwarts Legacy coming out in February. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to be notified whenever we post brand new videos. We bring you new content every single day of the week, whether it's about video games, TV, movies, and of course, pro wrestling. Now, on with the story. The article that I'm referencing from comicbook.com is linked down in the video description. Hogwarts Legacy game length revealed. Hogwarts Legacy's director has revealed just how long it might take to complete the game. Like many other open-world games, Hogwarts Legacy is going to feature a number of different areas to explore and side quests to complete, and while there is a main story path that players will be able to follow, the game's vast scope means that the time it will take to reach the credits will be much different for virtually everyone that experiences it. Speaking to ComicBook.com at a recent preview event for Hogwarts Legacy, Avalanche Software director Alan Tu tried to give us a better understanding of just how long the game is. Tu obviously doesn't yet know how general audiences might play the game, but in his own experience during playtests, Tu indicated that those looking to see everything that Hogwarts Legacy has to offer should clear a lot of time in their schedule. Quote, we find that the length varies really dramatically and really widely based on the player and, like you said, mainlining versus doing side missions, Tu said. Quote, I can describe it through my own lens. I'm someone, you can imagine, who has been through many playthroughs, and you understand what I might know about the game, given my position. I recently did a 100% playthrough of everything, and even with all my knowledge and my information, that was an 80-plus hour run getting through all the content. I feel like there's a lot there and a lot to engage with, and I'm excited for people to have that experience. End quote. Considering that Hogwarts Legacy took roughly 80 hours for someone who is so intimately familiar with the game to complete it fully, it stands to reason that normal players could take closer to 100 hours to accomplish everything. When it comes to mainlining the title, it's obviously hard to say how long it might take to finish, but most players likely won't only stick to the story path anyway. After all, simply existing within the world and going about everyday life at Hogwarts is one of the big draws of the game, so you might as well take your time with it. Hogwarts Legacy is set to finally release next month on February 10th for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Additional versions of the game for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will then launch in April, while Nintendo Switch owners will have to wait until July. That is some exciting news. Uh, I don't want to take, like, you know, a year or so to play through a whole friggin' game. I know Red Dead Redemption 2 was just forever long. I'm currently playing The Witcher 3. I'm sure that one's forever long, too. It is fun, though. And this one, I'm definitely gonna get into because it's the very first ever, like, open-world Harry Potter game with side missions and story modes, and it, it's... An, an RPG as well, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I've been looking forward to this game so much, and it sucks that I don't have current gen, so I'm not going to be able to get it on February 10th with everybody else, and I'm still hoping and praying for that release in April for PS4 and Xbox One, because uh, there's still something in the back of my mind saying they might cancel it, they might cancel it. And that has been a heavy rumor for a while that they're going to cancel it for last gen, and that's really all I got. And they might cancel it for the Switch since they pushed it all the way back to July. I really wanted to get it on my Switch so I could play it anytime, anywhere, and uh, it, that's just, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I want to wait all the way till July to get the game, plus everything is more expensive for the Switch, so you know how that goes. But either way, what do you guys think of this? Comment down below. Are you excited about the 80 plus hour uh, runtime on the game? Are you gonna play right straight through the story mode and just beat it? Are you excited about the side missions? Are you gonna be a good wizard or a bad wizard? Which way are you gonna go with it? This is my most anticipated game of the year. The only thing that even comes close would be Tears of the Kingdom coming out for Nintendo Switch, but this right here is my number one. Also, share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell to be notified every time we post brand new content on video games, TV, movies, and of course, pro wrestling. I've been Troy from Arcs on Games, and we'll see you next time.